We just got to run oh, through it a couple oh, of times. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Get oh, out of oh, 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 we live. Oh. We live. I think we live. I think we live. We're live. We're live, Capo. What's going on, man? <laughs> it's your boy, DJ Bobby Hustle, a.k.a. Mr. Digital, and I'm here live with my mans. Capo. The connect. Yeah. You know, we're trying to get a little fancy this time, trying to do a little something different, man, with the podcast, man. We're about to do this thing, man. We're going to do some real cool stuff with this. Um, today, we got a lot of great stuff going on. Uh, we're going to get into some music, and we're going to do something special because we have a special guest on the line. Who's our special guest, Capo? Oh, man, we got a good one today, man. We got, well, before I, before I even say who it is, man, let me just tell you a little bit about this, man. Super dope artist. Has toured, been all over the place, all over the country. Has opened up for huge artists. Has even had a mural painted of himself on downtown Atlanta through AT and T. A lot of great things. This is my man, my brother from another, Fooly. Fooly, what up, man? How you doing, brother? Oh, what's going on, man? How y'all doing? Man, can't complain. Can't complain, man. We on here live, directly to their eardrums. Yeah, man. That's it. That's it. Yeah, man. It's crazy, man. I know, fully. last time we was talking, man, it was, um, we was at the studio just before all this stuff just hit the fan, man. Now it's like some weeks done past things. It's crazy. You quarantined in the house. It's like, man, can't get out, can't do nothing, man. I'm about to go crazy, man. I feel like slapping somebody. I don't know, man. Right. You know, man. But how- <laughs> hey, man, as fully, fully as it has uh, everything that's been going on, has it been affecting um, you know how I know it's been affecting you. Like, how has it been affecting you, and and what's some pros and cons about what's going on right now for you? Uh, I would say the way that I guess that it would be affecting me is um not being able to go to certain spots. A lot mm-hmm. of businesses are shut down right now, so um certain studios are shut down. Um, but um I want to say about two weeks ago when it when it started to get serious I had I did a session I did about two days I went back home um and everything was kind of shut down but this particular uh establishment but I haven't really took a hit or anything man um I got an at home set up so I'm always recording um always at home mm-hmm. recording so you know it hasn't stopped that at all you know what I'm saying so I'm if anything I'm getting more done because of the quarantine I'm at home. <laughs> right right and that's what I was about to say are, are you knocking out more records are you writing more I mean how many how many songs do you think you've done since you've been in quarantine oh uh, man I don't know I haven't even counted but I know it's over 10 you know what I'm <laughs> I know it's over 10 I don't know, you know what I'm saying it's for sure that's what's up that's what's up <laughs> Yeah, man, that's crazy, man. I've been locked in myself, man, just trying to get stuff together. That's all you can do, man, is really just try to stay positive and really just try to better yourself and, you know, just try to learn and push forward, get ready for when this stuff let up. You know what I'm saying? Real yeah. shit, man. Yeah. Trying to trying to get, uh, trying to keep some type of norm in all this craziness, man, is, is, is kind of difficult. I mean, especially, I think all of us have little ones, so it, it's, a little bit more difficult when you you know you're kind of trapped in the crib trying to entertain kids as well as handle (laughs) business you know what i'm saying yeah man i know be creative and all kinds of shit (laughs) it's crazy you know especially with a me having a a one-year-old she's about to be one in a couple weeks so you know i trust me i feel you man but yeah fool the man so what's up man what you been working on man you got some new music for us man man i got a ton of new music man uh I brought you two today, man. I brought you guys two today, man. Okay. Um, two, two, two really great records, man. You know, um, been cooking up, been working on some some really dope vibes, man. Um, gearing up to release one hell of a project, man. Okay, that's what's up. So yeah, I got some records that you sent me, man. So uh, this first one right here, Third Degree, man. Tell me a little bit about that one, man. We about- oh, man, I got I get a, I get a lot of good vibes from Third Degree, man. Um. Um, as, as, as my man Capo said, man, you know, I done been all over the country and I was, uh, I was, um, put in a good enough situation, blessed enough to be able to record when I went out and spent some time in LA. And, um, this was one of the records that I ended up doing. Initially, this record was called Hollywood because I actually recorded it in, in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? And, um, just, just playing around with, with the vibes out there, man. You know, um, at first calling it Hollywood came from basically saying I was in Hollywood and I'm being Hollywood now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody <laughs> was kind of like, you know, nonchalant about me busting moves, doing what I was going to do in the future or being me. 
So like now, now I'm being Hollywood. You was how you got your chance to be Hollywood. Now I'm being Hollywood. Um, coming into, you know, when we got ready to actually release the record, you know, me and the guy sat down and actually, you know, went over a few names, and we felt like third degree was better. You know what I'm saying? Because I I was actually saying it within the record. So you know, that's pretty much how third degree came about. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Hell yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah. Well, uh. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get into the first dose, Bobby. Let's do Third this thing. <laughs> Who produced it, Foley? You know it's going to be. What up, boo? Yeah. To my knees, that race car look my speed. No ninjas ride and squeeze, like give it to me, please. Before I make you bleed, they pad his pockets, leave. Make sure they family E, gon' get eyes and D. And we don't fuck with folders, hit up with that rock. They boyfriends are just ballin'. DDT the homies, I got the bob with me. In the night with ooh, got Chavez on the moon. Ay, the fool is coming soon. First you hear that pop, pop, and then you feel the boom. That handle like a boom. If you is gay, then say this shit I'm respecting who legit Attention seekers, fiction speakers Kill the wrong one, how you miss? You ain't made for this shit, just call it quits Cause you ain't made for this shit, just call it quits Cause you ain't made for this shit This that third degree This that roll it, please This that she on me This that leave a lonely Get it by my lonely Heard the top and lonely All I know I want it All I know I want it This that third degree Yeah, 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 man. Okay, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Tell them they got they need to go ahead and follow Instagram. Go ahead and go to Spotify. Make sure they check that out, man, and, and listen to the whole thing and bump that in the ride, man. I'm feeling that though. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah. man. Hey, re- hey, real quick, fully. I don't mean to cut you off. Hopefully, I did it, man. But uh, I mean, you have you have a real unique sound, man. Like, like just your style in general, man. Where? Where where does that style come from, man? Like, where are you originally from, and where do you feel like you you gathered your 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 style of not only music but like how you carry yourself and you know just everything, the swag, man. Uh, man, I mean, uh, first off, uh, you know, just to to touch on where I'm from, man. I'm from South Carolina, Anderson, South Carolina, small town. Um, the closest thing that I probably could get people to to recognize would be Clemson. You know what I'm saying? Um, basically, you know, a lot of people don't like it what a national championship is right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, other than that, man, my mother was a singer. Um, her mother was a singer. Um, got a, a lot of gospel influence, man. Um, and then of course, like just in general, my grandfather was very he was into vinyl, you know, he was, a, he was born in, you know, he was in school in the fifties, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, all that good wholesome Motown music and just all that type of music, you know, into the nineties, Neo soul, everything really influences my sound. Um, you know, just everything growing up influences my sound. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Well, speaking of, uh, you know, being out there, like you said, just moving around and shit and coming from South Carolina to well, you're in Atlanta now, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Down in Atlanta, you know? Okay. And uh, I mean, you see, you, you're you always somewhere, man. You're in L.A. recording, you're, you know, at South by Southwest and all this shit. And you were recently on tour with um Don Tripp, right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Don Tripp, the homie. Yeah. What was it? What was it like being on, on the road, man? And, and uh I mean, what's what's uh, what's the tour life like for you? 
I mean, it, I mean, it's a uh, it's it's amazing, man. You know, it's pretty much the opportunity to be able to do to 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 show your talent to people each and every night. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much a new face every night. You know what I mean? And um, if not every night, every other night or every weekend or however you know the tour is set up. But for the most part, man, it's just it's dope, man. It's an exciting experience. You get in the tap in with people that not you know me being the first time going to some of these places. This is the first time I'm being able to uh, interact with a person that might have been talking to me for the last four months out mm -hmm. here in L.A. or or out here in Texas or you know what I'm saying wherever we going. So you know that's the beautiful thing about going on tour. And that's the thing that I'm that I'm the most attracted to going on tour, being able to just interact with people like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's dope. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Does that does that happen tour, a man. lot, man? Where you kind of like bump into someone that has been like, man, I follow you on Instagram, or you know what I'm saying? Like, I see your post, or or you know, I watch you on YouTube or whatever, and, and and like they know you through the social media world, and but you know now they get to meet you face to face. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's funny it's funny you said that man because I had I had a I had a, th a thought in my mind or I guess like a, a thing where I felt like this was like where how I felt like I knew I had something going on or I felt like I was I was making noise somewhere you know I felt like I wasn't making noise somewhere you know at one point in time if nobody didn't walk up and recognize who I was at least one person <laughs> in that particular area you yeah. know what I'm saying so. I'm like, well, damn, you know, at least one it, one person. I'm in the mall, I'm shopping, you know, you on the road or whatever, ain't nobody asked for a picture, ain't, ain't nobody <laughs> did this, ain't nobody did that. And then, you know, for a while it was like that. And then, of course, you know, now I live in Atlanta, coming from South Carolina. In South Carolina, it was more often. It happened more often in South Carolina. Go home or you there, it happens more there. Once I got more in tune in Atlanta, it happened there. Nashville is somewhere I get a lot of love now. So mm -hmm. when I go there now, I, people, you know, they want a picture or people want me to pull up to their spot. So it's love like that. And now it's starting to grow. So it's like, you know, Alabama it had a whole lot of love on a Dom Trip show. When we went to Alabama. It was so much love. Like, you know what I mean? I, I just pretty much just just pretty much touched everybody. It felt like I touched everybody in the building. You know what I'm saying? After the performance, you know, they came and hollered at me. It was just so much love, man. So it's amazing. Hell yeah, that's dope. That's dope, man. It's good that you get love when you're out there, man. You know, you out here moving around, you get to touch a lot of people, man. So that's that's the beautiful thing about being on the road, man. You can actually physically touch the people. They can feel the energy. You know, like well, on those Bun B dates, I was out there and I seen your energy. I got a few pictures I, I tagged you on Instagram when you performing, like how you really had some good crowd interaction. You was on there like performing. You weren't just lip syncing, you know, you was actually performing, you know. So <laughs> that's definitely kudos on that. I've seen it in person. You know, no Milli Vanilli. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, okay. So right. what's up? So um you said you sent me another record, man. I got this record uh, that you sent me called Rearview, man. So I'm about to get that queued up. Tell us a little bit about the thought process behind this record coming up. Man, Rearview. Um, generally, in any 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 track I create, um, most of the time it, it comes it comes from a situation or it stimulates from a time I'm in. So I got into a point where now. You know, you you seeing a lot of things in your past that you don't came in contact with, I guess more or less, and you seeing the things that you kind of had to shed away. You know what I mean? So it's like the best way, I guess, like the, the vernacular or whatever the the term I came up with when creating the record to pretty much speak that it was like, okay, these people are in my review now. You know, I see my hater in my review. You know what I'm saying? I see. This this person that didn't believe in me in my review, I see you know things in my past that 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 hurt me or 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 that, that that kept me from going to where I'm going. You know that's now that's in my review, so that's pretty much where you know the thought process came okay. into play with this record. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. it's produced by a DJ by the name um DJ A64 Flight School DJ. Shout out my guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. DJ A64. You know what I mean? Review, man. All right, all right. All right well, let's get into it. New record. <laughs> Wrong one. Oh, oh, record. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Oh, oh. Hey, turn me up. There we go. Oh. oh no. Ah, there we go. There we go. Hey. 
Shout out my boy DJ Ace. I put my haters in my review, review. And now I gotta clear view, clear view. I'm doing what I want to. How about you? All that lane switching and lying. I see it through. I put my haters in my review, review. And now I gotta clear view, clear view. I'm doing what I want to. How about you? All that lane switching and lying. I see it through. Uh, give them glasses, can't you see that I'm the truth? Real life will check the actions for the proof. Call me Zion, no dryer, she get wet. Thank the Lord for my OGs in the set. Give them praise when they maze out the gates. Did his time, now he safe home play. Now he on skate sliding. Don't wait, but time it. Don't hate, keep grinding. in my review. Clear view, I'm doing what I want to. How about you? All that lane switching and lying, I see it through. I put my haters in my review, review, and now I got a clear view, clear view. I'm doing what I want to. How about you? All that lane switching and lying, I see it through. Uh, cameras flashing, flames exit in the booth. Say retire, fuck his dad, I'm on the move. On the move. Did it solo, I ain't <laughs> never need a group. No, I did. Dreams are turning out of hoopies in the coop. Yeah. Section 8, they having parties on the roof. Yeah. Hold me close, one day we'll go poop. We'll Looking up to nobody in the room. Till they closing your tomb, won't I get put no pages in my review. Review. My and now I got a clear view. Clear view. I'm clean. doing what I want. How about you? Yeah. All that lane switching and lying. I see it through. I put yeah. my haters in my review. Review. And now I got a clear view. Clear view. I'm doing what I want to. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's just fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, show. man. Put put them haters in your rear view, right, bro. Right. Don't even worry about them. They behind you, right? Exactly. Exactly. I love, exactly. Yeah, man. I love that concept, man. Um, speaking of it, man, you got you you got some you got some. Um, you always seem to come positive, man. Like you always seem to come in in a positive manner, man, and uh, always trying to trying to at least say something in your music. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, I've been seeing you like pushing real hard with the whole uh, love more, hate less um, concept, man. What, what is, what's the meaning behind that? Uh, uh, man, it's, it's, I feel like the meaning is there, man, you know, but the, to piggyback on it, man, um, and, and I guess to get more detail, I mean, and man, uh, love more, hate less, man. I just, like I said, I, I came to a point in my life where I, that's all I want, man. It's all I want to give. That's all I want to receive, man. It's love. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, no matter uh, what this other person's outlook or whatever this other person's energy is, this is always this always should be your energy, man. You know what I'm saying? Good. You know, and that's two, and two bad energies don't mix well, man. One mm -hmm. bad energy is not good, but two two definitely is not good. So I feel like, you know, pushing to, to, to do more, to have more love and rather, instead of hate, you know what I'm saying? Love more and hate less. That's, that should be, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the whole thesis behind that, man. You know, it's to get more people to love first rather than hate. You know what I'm saying? People throw a rock before they tell you, hey, man, that's a good job, bro. That, oh, that's mm -hmm. cool right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you did a good job with that. For some odd reason, it's just like now people would rather get it off malicious thoughts instead of get off, you know what I'm saying? Something that's, that's positive, man, you know? Like good energy, you know what I mean, and that's the whole that's the whole thing behind that. Just good energy, man, putting it into the universe, man. That's yeah, what man. it is, it's, man. It's karma, man. It's like you give and you get, man. So that's the best way to go about it, man. Putting good energy out there. I like that, man. Yeah, yeah always, man. I mean, um, and then like I know you were talking about something. You had mentioned something about you were using it, uh, using it as a title for a project or something. Oh man, yeah. So, so you know that that's that's up and coming, man. We got a, I got a, I got a very dope, dope concept, man. And the way that we're gonna release this, you know what I'm saying? This 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 project that's coming, man. Um, love more, hate less. You know what I'm saying? 
And, you know, like I said, what I'm pushing is the same thing I'm pushing within the, within the music. The same message is going to come through the music. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's, it's going to be way more understandable with the music beside it as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Real shit. Real shit. What you drinking that poison for, man? What you putting in here, bro? <laughs> oh, man, you don't even know. <laughs> Is that a full or a loco? You know, no, 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 no. It ain't a full loco. I'm on an energy drink, man. I've had a long day. You know, I got a one year old that gets up early and keeps me up all night. Yeah, bro. You got to put those down, bro. Yeah, man. He said a four loco. Nah, no, no four locos. I don't mess around. I don't mess around with the four locos, man. I, I drink me some tequila. I drink me some Coronas. Uh, you know, I keep it low key, man. Throw me up something. Man. Yeah, man. You know, so, um, we got this other record real quick before we get into this game segment. So um, this dirty round, this dirty wine record, the one I accidentally almost played, but like this one right here, you know, the Fooly Man joint, you know. So before we get this one on, the name, the name, the name of the record, the name of the record is Fooly Man. It says Fooly Man like, parentheses Dirty, dirty Wine. wine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Capo. It's f- <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that shit on me, bro. Hey. <laughs> yes, we have it though. So, so let's talk about this record right here. Tell me about this record, um, and what what was your thought press uh, thought process behind it, and you know how'd you make the magic? Man, you know, uh, it's it's crazy, man. Like, um. I don't know. A lot of people don't like, you know, I'm trying I'm trying to get more, um, I guess, more comfortable talking about my like the personal, I guess, behind, I guess, my mechanics or why I'm like this or why I'm this way or whatever people will want to say. It. But um, I learned earlier this year that I'm that I'm I'm Creole. Mm-hmm. Like I have a lot of like Creole in my family, you, you know, Haitian or, or around that type of mixture. A lot of my family on my father's side is from Louisiana. Um, and I say that I say that to say this, you know, learning that this year is like, I guess, growing up, I always had, you know, South Carolina is we already get you as it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you don't know about South Carolina. We got Chucktown, we got Charleston, you got coastal Carolina. Like we're, we're surrounded by water. You know, South Carolina is on water. So I grew up on water my whole life. You know, and it's pretty much. No different from Miami. I guess Miami is larger because it's Miami, you know what I'm saying? But we grew up with beaches, water, everything, the same thing. And basically, just that vibe is, has always has been attached to, to me. Like, my, my for whatever reason, I can't, I can't understand why I just connect with this music. A lot of people don't like reggae. A lot of people don't like Afrobeat. A lot of people don't engage and, I, and and when I say uh, like a lot of people, I would say I'm, I'm more so speaking of of black people too. People you know people of that uh, that don't really know too much of this this culture or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I was one of those people. And and you know as I hear it more, like you know the waiters and Bob Marley and, and people like Beanie Man, and Elephant Man, and stuff like this. And when you when you hearing them, Sean Paul, like I was like who wasn't hype when you hear that? Give me right, a lie, right, like right. whatever. So I was. I was like compelled to like, man, you know, I got this, 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 this voice, this tone. Everybody told me, man, you're tropical. You need to try to make this type of record or whatever. And after a lot of like just saying whatever, and uh, I just decided like, hey, man, I'm gonna sit down with a producer and um, well, two producers. I have another record that's along the lines that's an Afro beat, um, but we're not gonna get into that. We're gonna get into this record. This record is um, produced by Kickstand. It's a young brother from where I'm from. Um, he's about, I, I think he's like 21, 22. Young guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's hungry. And, I, you know, I hit him up. I told him what I wanted, you know, the, the style that I needed. And he produced that, man. He sent it to me. And, and you know, we got Dirty Wine. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, yeah, without further man. ado, let's get we into this. Uh, you know, we got Fooly Wine. Fooly Wine. Yeah. Fooly yeah. wine. Let's get into it. <laughs> Sexy, sexy, 
Take your time, queen. Go rest, me. Go rest like me. your vibes, queen. A blessing. A blessing. One more time, breathe. No stress, thing. Yes. Enjoy the night. Sweat out whatever's on your mind. You have this one, no one design. Trust me, everything will be fine. Nah, nah. Oh, oh. Give me, give me dirty wine. Yeah. Give me, give me dirty wine. Yeah. Give me, give me dirty wine. Oh, one zone. Love me and leave me long. Why you watching me wrong? Yes. Me show you bad city mom. Me show you bad city mom. Rock your body, turn me on. Rock your body, turn me on. Can you ride city mom? One zone. Freaky, freaky to the zone. One zone. Give it to me till it's gone. Yeah. One zone. Tell me when it is on. One zone. Oh, I want to move slow down. Slow down. I want to them know that. Them know that. Dirty wine, yo. Me a mint. That's fire, bro. <laughs> that's you know what? That's, that's, that's totally dope, but different. It don't, it don't even sound like what people would think you would sound like. Like I've heard some records. I've been exactly. in the studio with you, so I know what you can sound like. But I like that, you know. And it's like you're not afraid to do something different. And it came out dope. It came out real dope. They could, you know, cross over to a lot of the um, like down here in Atlanta. They just converted 103.3 to. Um, you know, uh, I don't want to say Caribbean, but a dance hall station, you know. So it's like, it'll go on that station as well as it'll go on the hip-hop station and the Top 40 station. So, mm. And you sound good, man. You sound right. good. Real good, man. I like it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate that. That's fire. So wh when's that song coming out, bro? Is that out already or no? Nah, it's, it's not out, man. This is an unreleased record. Um, All right, uh, we getting the them exclusives, Bobby. Exclusive, exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good. <laughs> yeah. Wrong one, wrong one. No, nah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. My bad. You were saying what were you saying, fully? Oh yeah, man. So uh, the uh, third degree, not third degree. I apologize. Not third degree, but rear view. That was an unreleased record. You know what I'm saying? This right here was an unreleased record, and this record here. Um, I I'm thinking definitely. The project, man, you know, the one that I'm thinking about hitting y'all with. Yes, man, you know what I'm saying? This is a this is a crazy record, man. This is something that I, I can only dream to make it, man. I ended up making it and I feel like, you know, that's that's like one of those things, like, you know, you dream of something, you finally get it and you do it and you realize you can do it. It's it's it's, it's amazing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. Real shit. So so that like you said, man, that's a whole reggae vibe and you know, of course with reggae music comes you know uh what people would assume 420 festivities right <laughs> <laughs> so 420 right. 420s right around the corner man is there anything special that you have going for 420 or is there any kind of uh like way you celebrate 420 anything like that oh uh, man I, I celebrate 420 i think like all the stoners celebrate 420 you know what i'm saying <laughs> It's possible, <laughs> but it's, as far as like for my for my foolies, man, what they could expect from me, man. Um, I decided to you know to release something special. So I'm gonna do something special on 420, so they can expect um something new to drop on 420. Uh, definitely, man. You know, uh -oh. smoke, dope vibes. You know what I'm saying? So so go ahead and I know we on quarantine, but I know you got that that friend who got a friend who can get you that pack. Get you that gas, you know, the bar, whatever you need, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna need I'm for sure you're gonna need just supplies for this one, man. It's gonna be one of those, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Were, were any of the songs that you played tonight uh on the project? Uh no, no, no. Oh. no. Exclusive part of one goes, nah, man, you know. It's not. It's not. All right, all right, you holding it out. Okay, I got it. I got you. Yeah, <laughs> That's crazy. So yeah, fully. So um, hell yeah. So um, my man Capo man was telling me about this music video that you guys just shot. You know what I'm saying? And it's dope. And uh, we're gonna premiere that today. But before we do the music video premiere on the final dose, we got a a little thing that we like to do. We got a, a game segment that we like to play. 
Um, so we're going to see if you're smarter than the average rapper and see if you can uh, answer these couple <laughs> questions and see if, you know, if, if the stoner, the stoner um, is true that the weed makes you smarter. So we're going to find out right now. <laughs> yeah. So about to get into this game. So the first part of this game, the first section of this game is hip hop history. So we're going to ask you a question. Are you ready for this? You know, it's going to be a multiple choice, so we ain't going to make it too hard. I know your mind's got to focus. So the first question is, <laughs> are you ready? Let's get ready. Here we go. Bring it fully to the stage. All right, kids. All right, kids. It's time for hip hop history. Yes. So, hip hop history. The trivia question is: Who was the first rapper to go platinum? Was it A. Biz Marquee, B. Slick Rick, or C. Run DMC? Let me know. Well, I'm, I'm kind of confused now because you said rapper, but you do Run DMC. Well, rap group. That's a group. Rap group act. Rap act. <laughs> Look at him. He's trying to get. I think Run DMC was the first, though. You think Run DMC was the first? Yeah. Yes, that is exactly correct. Hey! Run DMC, Raising Hell, July 15th, 1986. <laughs> they released that selling, going platinum, and they also went triple platinum as well in 87. So, great job, Fooly. Hey. You are smarter than the average rapper. All right, so moving on, the next category. This next category is called Who Said That Shit? We're going to read you a famous who line. Who said that shit? And all you got to say, all you got to <laughs> tell us is who said that shit? Are you ready? So who said all this? Right, she needs to get a piece of the American pie and take her bite out. That's my house. I'll disconnect the cable and turn the lights out. Who said that shit? Who said that shit? And the answer is Big Boy. Who said that shit? Big Boy of Outcast. They released I'm Sorry Miss Jackson in 2000 on their hit um, record Stank On Ya. So you are smarter than the average rapper. My guy Fooly. Right. Okay. Now, nice, nice. now that we got that out the way, Capo Donna. All right. I mean, do we have time to play play torture? Hold on. So we're running a little behind because we had the thing set up, but let's do this. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into this video. We want to preview this video, uh, debut it to the world. So we're going to go ahead and get into this video, and then we're going to finish on up and see if Kappa wants to twist uh, Fooley's arm off real quick. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Here we go. World premiere of the new Fooly music hold on, hold on. video. Hold on. Hold on. Bobby. Yes. Bobby, before we premiere it, Fooly, tell us what video we're premiering and a little bit about the record. Yes. Uh, the record one produced by Little Vo. Um, I don't. I haven't even. I don't even think I've even told said anything about him being my cousin. In any interview I've ever did, you know, oh, a lot of people I don't think nobody even knows. Like, this is my first cousin. This should damn near be my brother. Um, our fathers were first cousin best friends, like like glue. You know what I'm saying? So um, the fact that we're even connected on this level and do what we're doing, it just seems like it's inherent. You know what I mean? And we're just doing it in our own way. But uh, this song basically came from you know. Motherfucker being tired of all that mess. You know, I ain't taking shit from nobody. Just getting played so many times in this industry, you know. And I feel like, I feel like everybody, it either comes to a time where you're going to let it happen, let it keep happening, or you're going to come to the point where you're going to just, like, put a stop to it and you're going to let everybody know, like, all right, you know, it ain't going to be like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not, it's not doing it, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that record was me expressing that, a lot of that energy, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Within that, you know what I'm saying? That's how that record came about. Okay. All right. All right. That's dope. That's dope. Now, now you can now let's do the big premiere. Do the world premiere of the <laughs> Fooly music video. Let's do it. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa.
<laughs> Pardon me, let me in, it's time to eat. They ain't fuck with me before, but now they do, they bother me. In boxing, won't swallow me. Back shots, now she hollering. Don't owe no apologies. Fuck your rules and policies. Pretty women following. I know my body tired of me. I don't find no time to sleep. Know my grind, I'll never sleep. The hell the smoke and then release. Pour it out for the deceased. I'm from the belly of the beast. Build it peace by peace. Me and mine, we gon' eat. Watch me and fish gon' count a whole one, whole one. Seen a soul called friend turn to a snake. Had to expose one. Put your middle fingers up if you know one. I don't trust no one. We don't take no shit from no one. Count it all, I won't miss no one. I'm a dog, I can't have just one. I don't trust no one. We don't take no shit from no one. Ninja saying I paid for it Like I gotta pay to hit So many times like build a bell I literally made a bitch Since hunger moved into my heart Ain't no vacancy Ain't no patience for your fake And all that shit so make believe Insta thighs start following Pretty soon she swallowing Treats and tricks like Halloween Except this mask for a robbery Water my seed, wait till you see my prodigy Rest in peace to prodigy You know the mind run deep Foreign car, no key Got drunk, can't leave Man, it's fashion too expensive Ay, to get a stain on this Ay, She got a grip on my jeans I got a grip on the cash My focus on that I can't unattach Call up a freak like come to match Five started like a match Young fully unmatched Young fully unmatched Call up a freak like come and match Five started like a match Young fully unmatched Young fully unmatched I don't trust no one We don't take no shit from no one Count it all, I won't miss no Hey, that, that was lit. Fun. That was lit. Very creative too. Because I've been seeing the. That's my first time seeing that video. And you know, I follow you on the gram. If y'all not following Fooly, make sure y'all follow at Master Fooly F O O L Y. But I've been seeing some of those pictures from the shoot on your gram. But I never, I haven't seen the video. And I know you said it was from the video shoot, so it makes a lot of sense. That that's 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 lit. That's lit. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh yeah, dog. That's what's Good up. Good job, my guy. I, the winner. Hey. Hey, real quick, real quick. You said, rest in peace to Prodigy. You know the mob runs deep. Is that what you said? That's what I said, man. Rest <laughs> in peace to Prodigy. You know the mob runs deep. Ooh, that <laughs> shit is... Yo, that's crazy. Man. And I, got, I told him, I said, I watered my seed. Wait till you see my Prodigy. Rest in peace to Prodigy. You know the mob run deep. So I'm telling you, my son gonna be better than me. Rest in peace to Prodigy, but you know the mob run deep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's yeah. cold as fuck. That's cold as fuck, bro. Hey, yeah, another thing, and I wanted to I wanted to bring this up because I know you have mentioned, um, you know, your cousin producing this, right? Um, you said it kind of runs. It kind of runs in the family. Um, is it? Don't you have someone else in your family that's famous? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, if you if you haven't seen a uh, guy friended me, or if you ever seen, um, he was just on um Power. He was on Power also. Was on Power. Um, uh, shit. He had another search party. He's on a lot of movies on Netflix. Um, but his name is uh um first name you know Michael, but Brandon Hall. You know what I'm saying? Michael Brandon Hall. You feel what I'm saying? ABC. Right now he's on ABC Network. Right now doing big things. Shout out to that. Yeah, so it's some in the water over there, huh? Or some in the family, dog. Some, <laughs> some in the genes. <laughs> I think so, man. I think so, bro. I think so, man. Uh, yeah, that's what's up. So, man, let let the people know what you got coming up next, man. What they can be expecting from you, and um, how you plan on bouncing back after all this craziness uh, gets done, man. 
Oh man, uh, the bounce back is just gonna be like like we never left, man. Like nothing ever happened, man. That's how that's how we trying. That's how we coming. Not trying. That's how we coming. You feel what I'm saying? And and basically, uh, what I got coming, like I said, man, 420. Expect some 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 dope some dope tunes, man. To smoke too and ride too, man. So like I said, come equip because you're gonna need it, man. And you know, I always remember, man, to love more and hate less, man. We got something very very special and dope coming, man. You know, with this, with this, what they call it, a pandemic going on. You know, I don't want to give a date at this moment, but just know we have the project. Love more, hate less. It's, 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 it's gonna be amazing. You know. What I'm so, saying? Uh, so is this? Is this? Because I've seen that you've dropped like you've kind of been dropping like a three song project or a four. Is this like a real project, like a full album, or is it an EP or what? So the, the the 420 will be more EP P or whatever, you know, people just like a small collection of records, you know what I'm saying? Um mm-hmm. or just one record, who knows, you know what I'm saying, if anything. Um, but as far as like the project goes, like the Love More Hate Less, like this is a project. This is is this is something where, you know, I like I said, I don't I don't even wanna say what's really gonna make it special because when it drops, I want them to see that. You know what I'm saying? Like, dang, like, you know, this is how you doing it. Like, <laughs> Got you. Coming. Got you know, you. And I feel like they gonna they gonna feel it the same way. Like it's gonna be like, well damn, you know, that makes sense. This makes sense. This is why you've been doing this, this is why you've been doing that. So mm-hmm. so yeah, I, I feel like if I if I give up uh any more, I feel like I'll I'll be, you know, saying damn to the surprise, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well man, just just make sure that uh when all this comes together, man, you give Audio Meds the exclusive, bro. We need that. Oh, yeah, yes, man. Sir. Shout out to Audio Meds, man. Some of the really in it. Right. Yeah, <laughs> Shout out. What's up? To that guy, Foolie, man. You popped in on us, man. I know you be busy. You got a lot going on, man. And it's like, it's a pandemic. The world's gone crazy, man. And so, you know, taking the time to tap in with us, man. We really appreciate that, bro. You know, you know, I rock with you personally anyway. You got some records coming out on my tape, too. So, you know, we, we definitely going to keep oh, it moving. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely got some good some good work coming, bro. Good work. Wait till they hear that yeah. work. We got some good work. And like you saying, man, uh, this stuff is going on right now. It's crazy, man. Shout out to everybody that, that that's still, you know, mobile, that's still having to work. You know, um, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a, I'm a business man. So I got a few businesses right now that's still in motion. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I feel like if you in this right now, man, you know, I'm praying for you. I, I appreciate everything you're doing for us. Uh, soldiers as well, man, you know. So everybody stay prayed up, man. Once again, appreciate y'all guys for having me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We yes, appreciate sir. you, man. Shout out to and, that uh, you know, guy. <laughs> you, you, you love that fucking applaud button, bro. Man, I appreciate, I appreciate everything you guys do, man. You know, I appreciate you taking the time. To these moments out of your life that you'll never give back. You could be doing anything else in the world, but you right here with me. You know what I mean? And I appreciate that. I'll never let that go in vain because time is the most valuable asset that you have. You know what I mean? So from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All man. right, man. We appreciate it, bro. Once again, thank you so much. Uh, Till next time, I am Capo. I'm DJ Bobby Hustle. You're supposed to hit me with the connect, fam. Let's go. The connect. Yes. (laughs) All right, man. Appreciate you, Fooly, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. So, man, Capo, I really enjoyed this thing, man. This was pretty cool, man, doing this this podcast thing, man. So what do you think, man? Should we make this a thing, man? Uh, Man, I think so, bro. I think it's something we need to pursue. It's a thing. I had a good time. I had a blast, bro. Fucking hip-hop history. We didn't get to get into the torture, but... uh. Maybe next time. Yeah, man. Someone's, we got gonna, a lot of stuff. someone's gonna get the torch, bro. Someone's gonna get it. Somebody's <laughs> gonna get it. But yeah, man. Once again, thank you all for uh, tuning in to us on IG Live, streaming directly into your eardrums, um, bringing you the prescription for sanity. Uh, once again, I'm DJ Bobby Hustle. You know, and I am Capo, the Connect. <laughs> yes. Until <laughs> next time, is, y'all be good. Till next one. Peace. Yes, sir. Peace. <laughs>